Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the normal raid, Alexander the Burden of the Sun. This is also known as A8. If this video helps you out in any way, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out as a creator. Now for this dungeon, when you first pick up Onslaughter, you'll want to make sure that you're facing him away from the rest of the group. Hypothermal Missile will be a tank buster ability that will just do minor damage, so it's not necessary to pop a tank cooldown for. It also doesn't have a cast time, so it's very difficult to predict. When he casts Mega Beam, he'll turn to a random party member and begin a long cast. You just want to move to these sides or behind him to avoid this as he will not rotate when he begins casting it. Perpetual Ray will be a cast tank buster that will do a decent amount of damage along with applying a magic vulnerability debuff. So after taking several of these, the tank will begin getting hit very, very hard. When you cast Execution, he'll summon multiple regulators onto the platform. You'll just want to focus these down as quick as possible. During this time, he'll also summon several circular AoEs on the platform that you'll just want to move out of. He'll also cast Mega Beam again, so you'll want to make sure that you're moving to these sides or behind him to avoid this. Once he gets down to 0%, then he will fly off, and the adds from the previous dungeon will come, and you'll have to fight them with the, each of them having a few of their mechanics from the previous area. So first will be Vortexer and Brawler. You want to make sure that you're taking them on opposite sides of the arena. When two party members are marked with the ice symbol, those ones will just want to move away from the rest of the party and drop those in a location where they can be avoided by the rest of the party members. And there will also be two circular AoEs that are dropped on random party members that will just want to move out of that will leave fire AoEs behind them. Brawler will also do his weapon changes between the different types of cannons and lasers. So you just want to watch out for this. After both of them are dead, then Blaster and Swindler will come onto the platform. You'll want to again tank them away from the other adds. Swindler receives a damage up buff depending on how close he is to the other ones. So he's the main one that you want moved away from everyone else. He'll also do the height mechanics so you'll have to pay attention to which side you need to stand on to avoid getting hit by this ability. Blaster will also summon the multiple adds onto the platform that will charge in the direction they are facing so you'll want to keep an eye out for these and move out of the lines that they're going to charge across. When all four of them are dead, then Onslaughter will come back onto the platform and merge with all four of them, turning himself into Brute Justice. Brute Justice will again want to be tanked, looking away from the whole group. When you cast Double Rocket Punch, this is going to be a Tank Buster ability, which will just pop a tank cooldown to help reduce some of the damage. After this, he'll shoot out multiple missiles. One of them will be a Group Up mechanic that you'll want to group to split the damage for, and then the other ones will just be Circular AoEs that you'll want to move out of. He does a Frontal Flamethrower, that is the ability that you'll want to make sure he's looking away from the rest of the group, but he also can look at a random party member and cast Apocalyptic Ray, this is another frontal ability that will be channeled 
causing damage and vulnerability stacks for every second that you are standing in it. So you'll want to make sure that you're moving out from in front of him as quick as possible. When he casts super jump, he'll target a random party member and then jump on top of them, pushing everyone away from that location. Short needle will just be party wide damage that hits multiple times that you'll need to heal through. From this point on, he'll begin to repeat his abilities. So you'll just continue to damage him down while dodging the mechanics until he gets down to his last little bit of HP. At this time, he'll go back to the center of the room doing a party-wide damaging AoE and splitting into the different adds again. They will be untargetable, but they will move around the platform doing different abilities. So the first set will target random party members with fire and ice circles that you'll just want to spread out to avoid overlapping these. And then there will be a few mines that are also dropped onto the platform that will prevent you from standing in certain areas or they will explode. The second group that comes out will have Brawler, which will do his double cannon ability on the main tank. So you'll want to make sure that you're grouping up to split some of this damage. And then Swindler will come out and do his height ability. So you'll need to check which height you need to be standing at before Onslaught jumps back onto the the platform doing a proximity based AOE in the center of the platform before doing mega beam which you'll want to make sure you're not standing in front of him for and then he'll re-emerge in his little percentage of HP and you should be able to easily finish him off and this should be it for Alexander the burden of the sun I hope this helped everyone out and again if it did please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out I'll catch you on the next one